All right, what's up guys? I want to talk about this gun really quick. This is the M4A1. I'm using red dot and silencer attachments. I'm also rocking that specialist strike package. I think I started with scavenger, hardline, and stalker. Then my unlocks are slide of hand, which you're going to need on this gun in particular. Quick draw, and then assassin as the third unlock. Play some ground war kill confirm. Now, the, the reason I want to talk about this gun is this is the first ever gun that I use extensively in Modern Warfare 3. When I first got the game and I went up to level 80, the first 80 levels, I used only the M4A1 with this exact setup. I did use Assault Kill Streaks back then. Um, I wasn't using Specialist, but after going back and playing with this gun a lot, it's it's the best. It's probably one of the, the best assault rifles in the game out of the automatics over the SCAR and over the ACR. I want to talk about some of the advantages it has. Uh, some of the advantages of the M4 is it has a lot of accuracy. The gun, especially when you get Specialist Bonus, has no recoil. It's extremely strong, meaning you have accuracy from distance and you have power up close. Um, because of its its pretty decent fire rate, it allows me to feel comfortable rushing around and being aggressive. So I can move about the map, I can feel good in a close range engagement because the gun's going to spit out the bullets fast enough and the bullets are going to connect. Unlike uh, certain assault rifles where you might run around and then the, bullet, the gun shoots so slow, that you end up losing gunfights to submachine guns. This gun can actually hang with the submachine guns up close, one-on-one -on -one gunfight. Obviously, if they're using something like rapid fire and firing from the hip, you don't stand a chance because that's what those guns shine at. But this gun versus the ACR. I would pick this gun over the ACR all day. I don't even like the ACR, but the big thing that's good about ACR is you can spam it out. If you put silencer and extended mag, you can spam it out. It has low recoil and that's what you can't do with this gun. That's the only downside to this gun is it runs out of ammo extremely fast. You can acquire one target, two targets, then you need to reload. However, with the ACR, you can run into a crowd of two, three, four people and just spray and hold down the trigger. That's why a lot of people like using it in ground war. That's why you see so much ACR gameplay because you can go ham. You can run into the enemy spawn, hold down the trigger, and just, <laughs> and just mow down a group of enemies. So yeah, as far as one-on-one -on -one gunfights and being more more efficient and more versatile, M4A1 all day. This is this is probably my favorite gun for uh, rushing around. I like the Scar on some maps uh, because the Scar has, like I said, great iron sights. You can put silencer and extended mag, and it's it's kind of like the ACR. You can kind of spam it out a bit, but I'm I tend to be a little more precise. Oh, how did that guy not kill me? I tend to be a little more precise with the Scar over ACR. But I think if you were able to have more ammo in this gun, I would I would only use the M4A1. So you guys definitely have to try this. I recommend Red Dot and Silencer. It kind of has really bad iron sights, so trust me guys, put on that Red Dot Silencer. You will see a huge, huge upgrade in your performance. Also, leave a comment. Tell me what you guys think of this gun. Do you enjoy the M4? Do you not enjoy the M4? Leave me a comment and tell me why. But anyways, that's the end of this gameplay. Call in the MOAB. I think it's actually going to wrap up the game here. We pick up the last couple tags as the MOAB's called in. And right after I get my kills, luckily. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, thank you for watching. And subscribe if you haven't already. Be easy, guys. Peace out.